हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस समेज आई गॉट सो मेनी कमेंट्स अबाउट पी एस क्यू एल इन अवर क्यू टी हाउ टू बिल्ड द पी एस क्यू एल ड्राइवर फॉर अवर क्यू टी एप्लीकेशन और हाउ टू कनेक्ट द पी एस क्यू एल डेटा बेस विथ अवर क्यू टी एप्लीकेशन सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू बिल्ड द पी एस क्यू एल ड्राइवर फॉर अवर क्यू टी एप्लीकेशन एंड हाउ टू कनेक्ट द पी एस क्यू एल डेटा बेस विथ अवर क्यू टी एप्लीकेशन सो लेट सी हियर आई इंस्टॉल द QT 6.6.1 and I delete the all the available SQL drivers. Now let's here check in our code. Let's include the SQL module. Include the QT SQL and QT 4. Now let's print the available drivers. So I remove the delete the all the driver so here you we will get the empty list of driver wait for the build so you can see the there is a no available driver for it here just because i delete the all the drivers now let's build the uh, psql driver for this now open the command prompt now here first we have to set the environment path of our ninja minw and cmake so now let's set the path first of all let's set the path of our ninja now set the bin directory of mingw and cmek okay so this is the way we have we set the our environment path now let's call the utc make command so it is still located in our main gw kit call write your qt this to make dot dot write the argument minus in ninja and here we have to set the path yes sir our sql driver location path where source are stored now we have to provide the psql include directory so i download and install the psql postgresql so just simply provide the your installation path include directory path and also provide the lib path library path and also provide the prefix path the prefix path is our ut6.6 main gw kit okay now run this command
सेकेंड सिटी पोस्ट करें एस क्यू एल हेडर फाइल एंड लिप फाइल इज सक्सेसफुली फाइंडेड नाउ लेट्स रन दी सीम एक बिल्ड कमांड वेट फॉर द बिल्ड before the try to build the psql driver you must have to make sure you success properly install the postgresql in your system so psql is dll is successfully built and currently is q sql odbc dot dll is building and compiling so wait for the build when the compiling process is successfully done our available plugins are display in this folder so now let's build the install command so you can see the psql driver is successfully loaded here and just because here failed the qsql qsqlite dot dll just because i did not configure my system for qsqlite so now our psql driver is successfully loaded and now let's print the our driver list so you can see the available driver qpsql qodbc and qsqlite SQLite build but not properly build, so we can't use that library for it. Now let's connect our PSQL database. So I create one simple database QT with Ketan, and now let's try to connect this database with our application. now provide the credential set username so for the username you can easily get the username for here postgres now set the password i set the basic simple password for it set the database name qt with ketan and now set the host name so i just provide the local host and now let's try check our database is successfully open or uh, connected or not set host name if db open we print the messages connected else not connected and print the error okay now let's run the application wait for the build so you can see the database is success successfully connected with our psql server 
so by this way you can easily create the or build the or compile the psql driver for your qt applications or by this simple code you can easily connect with your database with your qt application is look like a the sim, similar similar like a mysql how to connect with the mysql database or how to build the, the uh, driver for the mysql the both process are mostly the same we just here we have to provide the some information like include directory and lib directory and re rest process are the same so drop your comment if you have any questions about how to build a driver for psql or how to connect the database with your uh, our qt application and please like this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video thank you